everybody so tonight um i just did like a little promo for um i'm live vlogging the state of the union uh later so if you want to watch we'll also put a link below <laughs> um but i'm doing that and yeah i just figured i'd do a little vlog um tomorrow is the blessed the blessed blessed day where i, <laughs> I will get it's like the damn pope's coming to town or something no um tomorrow i am finally getting a desk i'm getting a desk um and as you can see back there the boxes are all gone yeah so tomorrow um my desk is coming and my toaster oven is coming so which is weird because i'm out of food but i have to stay here all day and wait for the desk and the toaster oven even though I'll have no food to put in the toaster oven, though, so, yeah. Um, the boxes are gone, and as you can see from my, um, my bookcase, um, I was watching this show on Netflix, House of Cards, and House of Cards will actually make me go back to Netflix, um, at least for a month, because they had the first episode free, and it was so good. Kevin um, Spacey is so good in his role. He has to win something for that role. And I've only seen one episode and he's so damn good in it. He, you don't see Kevin Spacey and I think that's the whole point of acting is when you don't see um, the actor anymore when you see only the character. Um, and I think Jamie Foxx did that too in Ray. Like I didn't see Jamie Foxx at all, I just saw Ray. Um, Ray Charles so that show is so good and funny enough beyond the acting what I took away from it is and it's like a political thriller it's based on the BBC version but I I've never seen the BBC version and it's very political it's kind of like um, it's kind of like West Wing ish um, yeah and I, I love it I'm going back to Netflix for it but the girl who's in it she's one of the reporters um, who gets involved with Spacey to get information um, because he's the source because uh, he gets screwed over um, he gets Kevin Spacey gets screwed over for Secretary of State and basically now you're following his revenge so it's kind of like Scandal Revenge and West Wing <laughs> all in one with Kevin Spacey being phenomenal because you, you you see him and you don't see him as him um, but the girl in it, she's a reporter, and her apartment, the way it was decorated, was so damn cute because she didn't even have a desk. She just had her books on the floor, um, like, like a crescent moon around her coffee table. And I thought to myself, because I had ordered like a ton of shit from Walmart, um, it was like $270 and change worth, and they canceled my order. And I was like, hell would they cancel my order for? But because I moved um the the billing address hadn't changed yet so when i redid the order because i had just watched house of cards the night before i was like i don't need all that stuff i need a desk and i need because i need um a toaster oven and i need a shower curtain so literally i bought those three things and i didn't buy um the bookcases and all that crap so I'm just gonna do the bookcases like this and when my desk comes and I put that together then my I'll have more storage drawers like that to put books on um, I don't need you know I don't need a bunch of stuff I'm just gonna use what I have for now but really I took that's what I took away from house of cards you know I don't need a ton of expensive bookshelves um, I'm just gonna use what I have um, and the it's like a pedestal desk that I'm getting it has the the legs of the desk have storage already too in it so there's storage there um i just can't wait to shoot videos looking like where the camera is gonna face me in front of that desk and the monitors i just think it'll be so pretty um but yeah the boxes the boxes are all gone look see no boxes all gone all clean and nice and all that good stuff um the boxes are all gone and the room feels cleaner it smells cleaner remember there were boxes over there too there are no boxes there 
Um, it smells cleaner, it feels cleaner. It just felt very claustrophobic. I was going crazy. Um, yeah, and I feel bad for my, my temporary roommate. I don't know how long he's staying, but there's like nothing in his little room. He just has like an air bed. Um, and he has his phone and he has some clothes. And he's like bored all the time when he's, he's never really here, which I like. Um, but when he's here, he's kind of bored and he had saw the building manager. I guess one morning he left late for work and he said he lived here. And I was like, no, he doesn't live here. <laughs> he's just visiting because I, I, and I don't want, you know, he's not going to be here that much longer anyway. So, but I learned the hard way, um, that I don't really want roommates ever again. I'm done, done, done with that shit. So tonight's the state of the union. Oh, and I found princess i found kate middleton on um i found kate middleton on youtube there's this girl on youtube and she's she sounds like me, kate middleton she looks kind of like kate middleton and i'm like watching her and she does beauty videos she's called the persian babe i don't even like um makeup videos i don't even care but just the fact that she looks like kate middleton i was just like staring at her and i totally subscribed to her channel because i was like Oh, she kind of has her mannerisms. It was funny. So, I found Kate Middleton. Um, so, yeah, so that's been my week. How you doing? How's everybody doing? Um, I hope you're good. Leave me a comment. Let me know how your week's going. Um, and I'm going to edit this really quickly and get ready for the State of Union. Um, so, come, come watch if you want to. It's important, you know. This is Barack Obama's first one after the election. Um... I voted for him. <laughs> I couldn't imagine voting for Romney. I just that'd have been a little scary because you have to think about it. It's this is the United States of America. This is the most powerful country in the world, and I just felt like if we let if we elected Mitt Romney, someone who's so focused on you know giving corporations whatever they want whenever they want, that's dangerous. <laughs> that's a da the corporations don't have enough motherfucking power in this country so i just thought that was a little too dangerous that being said i think that there are people too that take advantage of entitlement so you know i'm not completely one way or the other i am cor you know middle of the road and especially as like a single woman you should see how they tax my ass good times good times why isn't duffy a kid he has health insurance and he eats organic food. Somebody explain that shit to me. But anyways, so that's been my week. Um, and I'll definitely make another video tomorrow when that desk comes. I'll probably make a video of me sitting by the door waiting for the damn desk because I'm so excited. Um, and I have a Valentine's Day video and an Ain't Nobody Got Time For That video that I'm working on. So, all right, you guys, to quote the greatest show on earth, live long and prosper. I'll see you guys later. Have a good week or have a good day. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hardest part of making a video is deciding what the hell is going, am I going to do with my hair? Because sometimes it don't cooperate. Such a diva. <laughs> Bye. Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Um, I think I look a bit different and I'm back into that like setting I always used to have, like in front of my door. Um, just because everywhere else in my room is really, really messy. So, 